News at 10. In the face of the storm. Veteran and retired teacher Ron Dinsdale says he's always used art to navigate life's greatest obstacles as a therapy of sorts. He sculpted in the face of the storm to help him get through the pandemic, and he recently entered it into the VA's Creative Arts Festival. Every year, our nation's heroes at VA healthcare systems from all over the country take part. The veterans can submit work in several categories and have a chance to move on to the national festival. But as we found out here in Des Moines, it's what they get from putting their pieces together that is the true prize. If I don't whack off his nose. It's not perfection. We learn in carving that faces aren't all symmetrical. But perspective. Sometimes they're a little bit different. They're a little bit off. And that's okay. That Einer Jolson strives for when he's carving. For over a decade now, as the shavings pile up, he's able to settle down. This is really therapeutic, yeah. A lot of my early carvings, I had to make a, an agreement with them. They would either keep me warm by going in the fireplace or they would warm my heart by giving them to somebody else. This one was the latter, although it's one of his later works. I named it Inspirational Angels. It's a heartfelt thank you to the therapist at the VA who helped him through a surgery last year. And of course, art also played a role. I get in a zone, you know, and, and I forget about everything going on and it really helps me to help reduce the pain that I deal with. Teresa Johnson is one of the angels Einer depicted. He told me about wood carving so it was just very natural. Hey, you know, would you like to um, do some arts and crafts while you're here? The recreational therapist has a knack for breaking through. He wanted to also learn about painting, so he taught me a little bit about wood carving and then I taught him a little bit about painting. She says a simple introduction. I kind of go around and I just start conversations with veterans. Can lead to a reprieve from life's most serious obstacles, both physical and mental, like PTSD. They might have extreme anxiety, racing thoughts. Um, depression goes along with that. Teresa says when the veteran is focused on a project, a lot of that can go away. And when they complete it in a safe and supportive environment, then the veterans start to feel a sense of accomplishment, their self-esteem comes up. Wendy Cornelius knows all about that. Uh, I um, suffer from depression and PTSD. She says she's anxious about her upcoming retirement. When I start to feel that, then I just get into maybe doodling or um, painting, whatever. And pretty soon, two hours have passed, and I don't have that burning feeling in the pit of my stomach, you know, and my mind quits racing. Wendy says she almost didn't enter this watercolor painting of poppies into the competition. If that therapist wouldn't have been digging through the trash and pulling out my artwork, then um, I would never have entered. That therapist was Teresa. Getting her to see through another person's eyes that what you are creating and contributing is beautiful and it's worth something. How does that make you feel? It sounds like it's, it's pretty special. It is pretty special and um, it makes me feel safe. She makes me feel safe and that hasn't always been the case for me. As for Einer, whose thank you to the therapist finished in the top three last year, he continues working on his next project. He may join one of his brothers from another branch coming into the veterans show next year. It's never about creating the perfect work of art. For these veterans, it's the journey that makes it a masterpiece. And the veterans artwork will be on display in late September. You can see it at Hoyt Sherman Place from September 23rd to the 26th and the South Des Moines VA Clinic from September 30th to October 3rd.